Hello guys, are we online? <laughs> I think I'm having a problem with my connection, but anyway, we'll see, we'll see. Alright. It doesn't indicate if I'm already live or not, so I don't know. Okay, so anyway, alright, so okay, I'm online. Now I'm online, now I know I'm online. Alright guys, so here's a quick, quick seminar on how to read fast. Thunder speed reading. Alright, so my classmates know that I'm a fast reader. It's like if I'm in the library and I'm going to read the book and another, the hello Jacob Liado, one of my friends in <laughs> San Beda. Alright, so magaling din na student yan, fourth year na rin. Alright, so, many of those who know me know that I am a fast reader. So, if you're a fast reader, you will be able to make a lot of, you will have a lot of benefits, especially in law school or if you're studying in medicine or nursing, whatever. If you read fast, you'll get more sleep. <laughs> That's the most important thing because your classmate or your, the others will be not your classmates, but other people will be reading the book. Nakaka-50 pages pa lang sila. Ikaw ay tapos na. <laughs> Alright. So, okay. Uh, marami muna nagpapa-shoutout sa atin. So, shoutout muna tayo before time. Let's make the, ano, warm, no? So, let's, let's welcome KRM, Daniel Romero, John M., Jacob Liedo, Miami Salonga, Brian Gozon, my cousin, Doc, Doc, Doc Brian Gozon. Alright, so, hello. Uh, siya yung nag, siya yung nag viral na ano, yung congratulations, Doc. Congratulations for subscribing to, um, yung sa Globe. Alright, yeah, that's my cousin. And Princess Lubna, my classmate in high school. Diane Grace, Advocatarium, Advocatorum Amicus. Rog Season RL. Alright, guys. And dami na nanonood. Hello. Alright. So, I was listening to Mozart before I even started <laughs> taking this video. Alright, let's go back to our topic. I want to make it very, very short and very, very easy to understand. Number one first is uh, the benefit of... Hello, Daniel. Um, comment lang kayo dyan. The benefit of reading really fast is that you are able to get more sleep. That for me, I still get complete hours of sleep even though I am studying in law school. I have never been deprived of sleep. Yung tuloy, tuloy na walang sleep. It's because of the attribute that I have. Because I read really, really fast. Thunder speed. It's, um, yeah. So, yeah. Si parang, parang si Atty. Vivian Tan de la Cruz. I don't know how fast she reads, but I know that I am really a fast reader with understanding. So this is what I'm going to share to you guys. How do I do that? Well, it took years because I started this when I was still studying nursing. Because in AUF, when you study Angeles University Foundation, it's a top one uh, nursing school, one of the top one nursing schools in the Philippines. So, we also had cases then. Ang problema lang doon, yung cases doon, eh, medical. Pero naka, para din siyang fax issue ruling ang, nakadati, ang nakalagay. So, natuto ako magbasa ng very, very uh, fast. So, now, guys, I'm going to share to you the basic ways on how to... Ay, ang daming watchers. The basic way on a ways or basic tips on how to read really, really fast. Okay. So, excited na ba kayo? <laughs> Simple lang naman yan. Maybe you were able to um, read or watch YouTube videos on how to read really, really fast. But then, I would like to explain this to you. Similar concepts, but I would like to explain it to you in a more understandable way. And syempre, papano natin magagawa na tayo ay mga law students or nag-aaral. Alright? Ready na ba kayo? Comment pag ready na. Pag, pag medyo meron ng... Apat o limang ready na. Let's start. <laughs> Ang daming nanonood. Alright. Thank you for um coming. Alright. So, this is how we do it. Start na ba tayo? Comment kayo if you're ready. Say ready. Say ready. <laughs> Hi, Dom Martin. You're back. 
Okay, I'll start when you say that you guys are ready. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay, ready. One. Uh, sige pa. Para tatlo or apat or lima. Let's start. Mm. Ready? Isa pa. Si Brian eh. Doktor na yan. Hindi ka naman na nagbabasa. Okay. Alright. Tatlo na ready natin. It's like this. Okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> okay, this is my technique. I read in sakads. Sakads. S-A-C-C-A-D-E-S. Sakads. <laughs> what? What is sakads? Alright. Sakads. Is that the, the right word? Yeah, sakads. Meaning fast reading. Okay. Ang dapat ninyong tandaan pag nagpa-fast read kayo. It's not just the speed, but you must have, alright, tip number one. You must know the subject that you are going to read, alright? So, if it is criminal law, you close your eyes and then imagine crimes, okay? Imagine it, crimes in general, so that your mind is tuned to the topic. If you're reading civil law, imagine a certain civil law case, Halimbawa, hindi ka bilang na utang. Isipin mo yun. Just, just stay with that thought. This is what I call the proper rodering. Parang sa bangka, you don't start sabog. If you're studying medical, you think of a certain sakit. And what do doctors do? You get it? That's very important. Okay? I want you to have your, um, um, what do you call this? Your reactions there, ha? This is important. If you don't do this, Sasabog yung pag-aaral ninyo. This is very important. So, if you are going to do something, you must intend to do it. and But you must be able to put your mind, your brain, okay, to that attention or focus. For example, we're going to study, for example, this, the civil code. Civil code annotated. This is civil code annotated by Justice Paras. Okay. So, this thick book, Normally, well, my, my, some of my friends tell me that they, have, they can read it for like what? 3 days tuloy-tuloy? 12 hours tuloy-tuloy na reading? 12 hours na 3 days. So, ilan hours yun? Madami yun. This is like 1,021 pages. Alright? But do you know that I can read this isang araw lang with understanding? This is the reason why I read this book more than five times already. This book. I read this more than five times. Maybe even eight times already. Cover to cover. Very, very fast reading. This is the reason why even though you cannot um, cite all right, the specific page or whatever, but you were able to comprehend it, you would be able to say, under the law or under the book of Paras, it says that like this and like that. Alright. How do we do it? Number one. Okay, ha? Huh? Uh, hello po. Hello. <laughs> okay. So, number one, ha? Huh? Very, very important. If you are studying, say, criminal law, mag, mag, imagine ka ng kahit anong krimen. Alright? Kahit anong krimen. For example, oh, yeah, more than five times, um, criminal law ni Justice Paras, I was able to, uh, Justice uh, Reyes, I was able to read it so many times already. Okay. Imagine that a certain crime. Alright? Oh, two weeks daw ni Nico bago matapos yung isang book. You can finish this in one day. Yun tuloy-tuloy, ha? Okay. Okay, so anong gagawin natin? If you are reading a, a civil case, persons, for example, persons. I'm going to read, say, Article 19. First, I will read the main topic. Article 19, para sa mga first year, madali nyo tandaan, no? Sige, sabi ng Article 19, every person must, in the exercise of his rights, di ba? Um, and in the performance of his duties, act with justice, give everyone his due, and observe honesty and good faith. Okay, so you were able to understand that. Now, what you will do before you read all the annotations, 
Alright? Sabi nga, very medical technique. Because uh, we learned this in medical field. Brian Gozon, my one of the commenters, is a doctor of um, veterinary medicine. Very medical itong technique na tinuturo namin sa inyo, right? So, okay. The number one thing to do is, aside from subscribing to my YouTube channel, <laughs> is get your mind ready to the topic itself. That is the most important. So, imagine a certain scenario of the violation of this. So, you were able to um, read it. Okay, this is a positive sort of um, statement, right? I want you now to negate it. Balik ta rin mo. Every person must, in the exercise of his rights and in the performance of duties, of his duties, act with justice, give everyone his due, and observe honesty and good faith. Alright? Balik ta rin natin. Every person who in the exercise of his right and the performance duty must act with injustice. Do not give everyone his due. Observe, lie, and be in bad faith. So, binaligtad ko siya, right? Binaligtad ko yung meaning nung subject. By doing that alone, alright? By doing that alone, your brain, okay? The thinking part of your brain, especially this frontal cortex, will be able to automatically memorize the, um, what do you call this, the essence of what you've read. Because you were able to convert it into negative. It's very important. Maybe ngayon nyo lang maririnig yan. Babalik ta rin ninyo ang ibig sabihin ng binabasa ninyo. So that you will be able to remember it. Every person must, in the exercise of his rights and in the performance of his duties, act with justice, give everyone his due, observe honesty and good faith. Balik ta rin mo. Every person must, in the exercise of his rights and in the performance of his duties, act with injustice. Do not give everyone his due. Observe lie and be in bad faith. Alright. So now my brain was able to Especially if you're going to read it for the first time, my brain was able to digest the positive statement and I was able to convert it into a negative statement. If I am able to do that, that means I understood what I read. Because you will not be able to reverse it if you're not able to uh, understand it on the first place. Alright, and dami nanonood. Nahiya ako bigla. Alright. Okay, that's number one. Wait a minute, ako. Sandali lang. Now, let's go to tip number two. Okay, number one, abaligtad natin yung ating pinag-aaralan, all right? Now, paano kayo magbasa? Sino sa inyo ang frontal cortex, biglang nag-epistaxis ang utak ko, nag-alay sa malikang pagsulat ng Pilipino. Okay. Now, after you're able to reverse it, syempre, babalik mo siya sa original. Okay, that means to say that you were able to understand what you've read. Yun lang, sa first, sa first part lang naman yun, mo gagawin yun. And especially, if you don't understand a certain passage, balikta rin mo. Pag hindi mo siya nababaligtad, Ibig sabihin, hindi mo siya totally na iintindihan. Okay? Let's. So, ito, every person must. Oh, in the exercise of his right. Ay, ako mag ano. So, imagine ka ngayon ng scenario sa utak mo na itong tao na to, hindi niya ginagawa yung justice. Na yung tao na to, hindi niya inaabuso niya yung kanyang karapatan. Na yung tao na to, sinungaling ito. Na yung tao na to, very bad faith siya. Number one, reverse it. Okay? Number two, dinabasa mo na. Bago ka magbasa sa lahat, go forward mga 5 to 10 pages. Okay? Look at the main titles. Main titles, why the commission formulated the chapter in human relation. Stress the article. Then the titles, semi-titles, okay, subtitles. Okay? Mga 10 pages in advance. This is to prepare your mind, okay? Prepare your mind. You always prepare your mind. You prepare your mind to 
the idea of what you are going to read on the next 10 pages. Hmm, okay? So, kung kaya ninyo, tapusin ninyo mga 20 pages. Ako ginagawa ko very, very, very quick lang yan. Now, balik ka na naman dito sa first page, sa, first, sa page nung first chapter. Okay, so what I will do is I will read the first paragraph. Okay, so, a chapter in human relation was formulated to present some basic principles that are to serve in the rightful relation between human beings and stability of social order. Okay, stop. Don't read this part. Just read the first part. Now, go to the next paragraph. In celebrated case of, okay, observance of honesty and good faith, you just read the first paragraph that makes sense. And then go to the next page and get the first paragraphs that make sense. You skim first. That's what you do, huh? Don't you must follow this technique because if you're not go, if you're going to skip some parts of this technique, you won't be able to do it. Now you you did it very fast, okay? You skimmed. What did you do first? The subject was introduced to your frontal cortex. That is by reversing. All right. Na introduce mo sa brain mo, right? First thing. The second thing that you did was to skim only the titles. Only the titles of the first succeeding uh, pages. Only the titles. Okay. Sobrang bilis nun. What did you do? You gave... Imagine that you're building a house. What did you do on the first? You understood the plan. You understood the plan because you were able to reverse it. Okay. Empty ha empty lot. And then you were able to say, this is where I will build my house. What did you do with scheming? Oh, you laid on the sort of foundations. Alright? After the scheming, what are we going to do? We're going to look at the the gist of that paragraph. It's the third. I know how you first first paragraphs you will you will be able to understand it okay so if after doing that okay the stage 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 three na tayo ha Un una kasi is reverse it number two is you skim the, just the title and then balik ka na naman what are you going to do is to skim the first paragraphs okay the first paragraphs Okay, that's what you're going to do. What are you going to do now? Okay, that's number three na, ha? Explain natin kung bakit important yun. Number one is the subject itself. Okay, introduce to your brain. Parang baby yung utak mo, huwag mong pakainin agad ng solid foods. May empacho yan. Number two, you scheme all the subtitles. Okay, so para tayong from liquid to solid, di ba? And number three, you scheme again, but you scheme on the most important parts of the paragraph. Okay? This time around, you look at the first paragraphs, and then you just scheme over the remaining paragraphs and look for keywords. Look for keywords lang. Okay? This is on the third, third part, ha? The first paragraph, look at the first paragraph, read it intently, and then you will be able to get the subject of that paragraph because... Sabi nga ng professor ko nung first year, si Attorney Alcobilla, yung book daw ni, ni, well, just as any other book, similarly, yung first paragraph, paragraph lang naman, and paulit-ulit lang naman yung mga succeeding paragraphs, same thought. What you are going to, what you want here is to get the idea of what you are reading. Okay? Okay, so we finish that now. I want you now to get a certain book, if you have there, Sa inyong mga bahay. Book. Any book. Kahit hindi long. And get a pen. A pen. Okay? So, when I read, I don't, eto ha, I don't read word by word. I read in sakats. I read in group of words. Because, it, it it was taught to us before back in uh, my medical ano background okay na ang mata natin okay can 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 read total ha 8 to 11 
letters. Okay? So, ilan ang katumbas nun? Three words. We can read three words in one look. Imagine how fast would that be times three ang reading mo because you're not reading word per word per word but you are reading per... <laughs> okay, so... You are reading word per word per word. That is too cumbersome. Okay? So, stay on me on this. Okay, yung ma sa shock na nangyayari yun. That's how we do it. And that's how also doctors do it. And that's how many lawyers do it. Nung pagka matagal na sila nagpa-practice. They, you read it by group of words. For example, this one. Unang tingin. This one, this one. A chapter... On basic human relations. Hindi mo kailangan basahin niya ng a chapter on human relations because it only makes sense. Isa lang ang sense niya. This is a chapter in human relations. Tapos, ganito ang pagbasa mo. You get it? <laughs> I'm teaching you, ano ha? Somebody is summarizing it. Number one is reverse. Number two is scheming. Number two is scanning. Okay. Okay. Number four. Balik na tayo. Ito na yung basahan talaga. But when you read, you read in groups of words. Ang challenge nito is that, paano maiintindihan yun? Okay? Kailangan mo sanayin yung sarili mo starting today. Okay? Natignan ang words by groups of three or four and make and that will be the way you look at what you are reading from today phrases i don't read words i read phrases so when i look at one phrase it makes sense to me already what that phrase means phrasing siguro tawagin nating phrasing okay paki number four krm number four is phrasing Pray, hindi praising ah, praising, phrasing. Chapter human relations. Basta isip mo. Chapter human relations. Formulated to present. Basic principles. To be observed. For the rightful. Between human beings. And stability. Are you getting it guys? Oh, yung mga, this is very basic, but then hindi alam ng iba. You are wasting so much time to unnecessarily, to unnecessary, okay, Words that don't need to be memorized, that don't need to be um, part of your system word by word. You just get it through phrases, okay? Imagine how fast you will be, okay, reading if you will be reading through phrases. Now, the difficulty lies in our minds automatically go back, our minds, our eyes, okay, automatically go back to what we are uh, we have read already so that we can recheck it okay that's natural sa ating mata nagje-jerking motion siyang ganon okay that is why when you read you should guide your kikita niyo yung mga reading programs sa uh, YouTube sa ano ako sa akin hindi ko sa YouTube natutuhan ito i, I learned this in back in my medical uh, background so this is a first-hand information because I use it. Okay? So, phrasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, in, in phrasing, you guide your eyes with either your pen or your, 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 your finger. So, that's why when my classmates see me, I, I, as, 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 as if, nakikita nyo ba? I'm reading like this. Yeah, ganyan. Okay, so now, I was able to read that, that paragraph that fast, okay? So, I will discuss it to you. This paragraph talks about the human relation. This, this chapter was formulated in order for uh, people, alright, to be um, guided with the basic principles of human relations, okay? Lang, that is uh, based on justice and, uh, justice and um, equity. Oh, yun ay sinasabi, ng, sinasabi nitong... Um, paragraph na ito. So, I was able to understand it by just looking at that and I was able to rephrase it. Okay? Very easy. Okay. 
Punta tayo rito. Okay. Halimbawa, case digest yung binabasa ninyo. Okay. Yan ba? Una muna, titignan ko muna ha. Babasahin ko very, very quick. Okay. Having won, alright? Having won the case, alright, for ejectment, okay? The, uh, the plaintiff did not give reasonable time, okay? For the defendant to leave their houses, to, de to leave their house. So what the plaintiff did was to eject them just right through, just right through, just there and then, alright? The issue now is, are they entitled to da to damages? Right? Is is the, the the plaintiff entitled to damages? Kasi siya na ngayon yung nagdemanda. The Supreme Court said that yes. Although it is your right, all right, to execute the judgment, okay? It is still not right. It is still um, under Article 19 that you must not abuse your right. Okay? So, see, I was I read this now. I read this, maybe mga, kanina nakita nyo, di ba? So, mga 7 seconds. And I was able to convey to you what they said. Now, I will read it to you. I-match ninyo ngayon kung ano yung sinabi ko kanina. Having won the case in a final and executory judgment, the winning party, in having the judgment executed, did not give the occupants of the house, sought to be demolished, Sufficient time to remove their personal belongings. Are said occupants or the plaintiff entitled to damages? Held. Since no reasonable time was given and belongings were damaged, alright, the house, blah, 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 in the corner, blah, blah, as required, ayun, it was carried out in a manner not consistent with justice and good faith as required by Article 19 of the Civil Code. Hence, damages may therefore be awarded in view of the abuse of rights. So, you were able to see. I read it for like 5 to 7 seconds and I was able to convey to you what it said in my own words. It means that is a gauge that my brain was able to uh, understand that uh, particular, this, this long, I was able to understand how the case went through and then I was able to convey it to you all right, not in the exact words, but they are all substantially and accurately the same or similar or substantially the same. So, in that manner, if you'll be able to to um, ask now, during your recitation, oh, Mr. Gozen, what is the case of Albert's investment versus Court of Appeals? Plaintiff having been able to win the case for ejectment and demolition for, of their property did not give sufficient time to the uh, persons occupying the property therein, alright, um, right there and then executed the judgment and to the damage and prejudice of the herein plaintiff issue. Are they is here is the plaintiff herein yeah, entitled to damages the supreme court said yes because while it is true that it is your right to eject the persons there too and to demolish the property all right still it falls under article 19 because it falls under the abuse of rights because a person when exercising their um right must exercise it in good faith oh, so diba? so you're able to you were able to um explain this one in a very fast manner and in a very accurate manner as well. So, alright. Okay, sandali lang ha. Pahinga lang ako. <laughs> okay, sandali lang. Pupusta na ako na hangin. Alright. Basa muna tayo ng questions. Okay, pa-request po next time how to read fast bar law school exam questions. Especially criminal, uh, okay. Usually, kasi if it's not our first language, you read it word by word, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, basta muna tayo ng okay, right now, see, okay. So, how do you test yourself if you're able to understand it? Okay, I read it in phrasing. But don't expect naman yourself to apply that 
like kakaturo ko sa inyo ngayon and then you're going to apply it like right now and then you expect yourself to do as fast as that as that it, it won't happen so as for me i can read like five to eight words even one line like i can read the one line with comprehension so but i've been doing it for years so on your part you start really very simply you start on maybe two to three words first and then you guide your eyes you always guide your eyes kasi nagja-jerking motion yan bumabalik do sa binasa natin now kasi, hindi ko naiintindihan hindi ko naiintindihan hindi mo maiintindihan talaga yan kapag nag-jump ka sa phrasing agad okay hindi hindi mo maiintindihan yung binabasa mo kung magja-jump ka dun sa phrasing kasi di ba i told you first oh you set your mind to the to the ano, to the topic. Okay? Number two. <laughs> Pa-example daw, full case. Sandali lang, hindi pa tayo, wala pa tayo sa, ano, this is very, very basic. Okay? Number one, di ba? You understand it, you reverse it, the main topic. The main topic, ha? The main topic. <laughs> Number two, you scheme for the subtitles. Okay? And number three, oh, diba? you scan. Okay. And number four, you read it. You read it, but don't read word by word. You read it by um, phrases. Wag, wag magsimula ng eight words per second. Hindi nyo magagawa yun unless you have a good, ano ha? It takes years. But for, for now, you practice reading three words at a time or phrasing. You study, you phrase, phrase, phrase. Diba? We have what we call the incomplete um, sentences. Diba? Diba? Yung clause, yung mga clause, you must be able to learn how to read not by words, not by each word, but by clause. Clause, diba? Yung mga, mga independent clauses yan. And then trust your mind that your mind will be able to to understand what you are reading. Okay. So, one more example, ha? Okay. Medyo, um, medyo, ano, mahaba-haba ng konti. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yung madali ninyong maintindihan kasi medyo corporate ano to. Medyo makaka-relate kayo. Okay. Okay. Mhm. 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 Okay. So, okay. Look at this. Okay, basahin natin ha. Kali Commercial Airlines. So, did not have sufficient asset Ay, ito pala Is how you read it, ha? Cali Commercial Airlines Ay, Mabilis na mabilis Cali Commercial Airlines Did not have sufficient assets Ganon ka nagbabasa, ha? To pay its liabilities So, it's called a meeting to the creditors Who agree they would Be contented to pay Pro rata Their assets And including their super plane Still in California One of creditors, Shell Okay? Took advantage of information Made telegraphic assignment credit in favor of his sister, ha, Shelko, in U.S., which then promptly attached the plane in California, thus depriving creditors of its value. Can Shell Philippines be made liable for creditors? Yes. Okay. That's how you read. Very, very quick. Yun daw, Shell, may creditor. Ang ginawa niya, Pina-attach niya sa sister company niya yung kanilang property including the C4 plane, yung airplane. Ngayon, nung papa-attach na ng creditor niya, ano nangyari? Wala siya ma-attach kasi pina-attach nga niya doon sa sister company niya. Liable ba siya sa damages aside from being able to um, recover that amount of money that is owed to him plus damages? The Supreme Court said yes because he did not observe. Okay. Article 19 of the Civil Code. See? <laughs> very, very fast, right? Mm. First time siguro yun yun yung... Aray, niinita na pa. First time siguro ng iba dyan na nakita yung pag-read natin ng... 
phrase by phrase. Okay? Now, another tip. Basic tip ito ha. Meron pa kasi hindi ko may tuturo sa inyo ng, ng online. Kailangan harap-harapan. Para yun talagang solid talaga yung very fast to, to read. Okay? Do not sub-pronounce. Ah. Nakakita na ba kayo ng classmate ninyo na binibigkas yung binabasa? Don't do it. It slows you down. Doesn't help. It slows you down. Do not do that. Okay? Just trust your eyes to see three words per uh, uh, line. Okay? Three muna ha. Kasi so you can go up to eight pataas. Okay? Okay. Yung technique mala SQ3R sa mga asignatura sa pakikipag-ugnayan. I don't know what SQ3R but this technique is a scientifically proven technique. It is uh, being taught in medical schools, nursing schools as a technique on how to read fast. And, and it is also applicable uh, in law school. Alright? So, can anybody summarize it for me? Sino bang gustong mag-ano dyan? Mag-live with me? Pwede yata yung half and half eh. Anybody? So, that's how you read ha. Okay, siguro criminal law tayo. Sige, sandali. I'll just get my Reyes book. Okay. Criminal law. Okay. One more time. Okay. Okay, so I want you say for example, no pinabasa sa iyo yung pinabasa sa iyo yung yung a certain na no. Hindi mo tapos-tapos, sobrang haba. Ano ba 'yan? Textbook pa lang to, ha? later baka gawa tayo ng video mag sige mag-digest tayo ng ano. One long mm, case from the or from the full text and then I will read it. Oh, yan na si Reyes, Big Tina. Okay, so yung mga takot sa criminal law dyan, no? magpahinga na kayo. Alright, so, okay. Hanap tayo ng, ano, yung, yung madali ninyong, madali ninyong tatandaan. Okay. Okay, this one. Look at how long this is. Alright, this is just one paragraph, ha? It's just one paragraph. Now, I want you to read it. Diba? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? 8, 9. 9, 9, 9 words. Ganyang kahaba. Ha? Huh? Okay? So, how will be... If you're an ordinary reader, what you're going to do is isa-isahin mo yan. Chief of Police, Oanis, and his co-accused, Corporal Galanta, Next year ka na matatapos. <laughs> you should read it like this. Alright, I will read it very, very... I will read it very, very quick. Look. Okay. I will explain it to you. Okay, Owanes and Galanta, alright, are both police officers. Okay, and they were ordered by their uh, superior Texan, all right, to arrest okay a certain criminal, okay, a certain criminal. Okay, now they went into the house of the suspected. They went into a house where they believe that the suspected criminal is there. Okay, now they saw a man who was sleeping on his back or on on his side facing the door, and subsequently they fired shots and killed the victim. And the victim appeared, uh, and the victim turned out to be an innocent man. <laughs> Issue: Are they liable for murder? The Supreme Court said yes. Oh, this is that. See, I was able to read that and convey to you what it said in less than what seven seconds or ten seconds. Because I don't read it word by word. I just read it with full intent, and then I look at it phrase by phrase by phrase okay and then you just remember the keywords and that you will be able to explain it by your own selves that's thunder reading it's really really fast 
So, kung nanonood kayo ng The Social Network, yeah, tulad nga nang sabi ng isa nating follower, Attorney Vivian Tan was, or still is, a fast reader. So, she can read the book, like, really, really fast, with or with substantial understanding, or with competent understanding, whereas her classmates need to read it for, like, what? Kung siya 3 hours, o kung siya 1 hour, yung classmates niya would read it for times 3. Okay? So, she must be using that technique. Maybe. We don't know. But it's good. Alright. So, okay? Okay. So, again, let's summarize. Okay? So, I hope that you're learning. Is there anybody, I know they have any question? That's just the basic, ha? Huh? Kasi pag nagkita-kita tayo someday, ituturok sa inyo yung mas mabilis na, meron pang mas mabilis na, na way, pero this one will work for now kasi mga ano ko is first year eh. Sige, pakilagay yung number five. So number one is reverse it. You understand the topic, you imagine the top, the, the, me, uh, the article or the certain uh, topic, and then you reverse it. And then number two, you skim. Okay, you look at the sub sub um, paragraphs, and then you do the scanning, the first paragraph, and then look at for keywords sa mga sumunod. All right, and then basa ka na. Ito na yung phrasing. Ito na yung phrasing. Babasahin mo na siya ng sets. Okay, and number five, which is the most important, is to summarize what you've read in your mind, like what I did. In your mind lang. Hindi na yung salita. Kasi sabi ko, huwag magsasalita. Just on your mind. Ay, ano mo, i-rephrase mo sa, sa brain mo yung binasa mo. And then you move on. That's how you do fast reading. That's number five. That's number five. Explain it to your mind. Okay? Re, what you call that? Summarize. Alright. Summarize in your mind. Only. Okay? What you've read. So that you're sure that you understood it. Okay? Pagka sinamarize mo sa mind mo, tapos parang may maling facts, mm, parang mali. O, di sa kama babalikan. Okay? Alright. Okay, what a question. Now you got uh, basic fast reading 101 from me. Pagka uh, nag-succeed kayo sa first year ninyo, you tell me if it works. But I ask you, Hi po, I have a question. I don't take note when I read. I make, I give my opinion, but I don't take note. Hi po, I have a question. Is it helpful ba to use highlighter when reading? Thank you. Okay. The answer to your question is quali must um is requiring. Okay a uh, qualified answer. Why? When you highlight something, it has a psychological effect that you've already finished that part. It gives you a certain confidence. I am just not sure if you will be able to remember what you've highlighted. Okay? There's no, there's no, you Google it. I also search for it. It is not, um, Conclusive that when you highlight it, you will be able to remember it. What it does, sa akin lang, ha? What it does is it gives you the confidence that you already finished that part. And then, pagka yung libro mo, puno na ng highlight, oy, natapos ko na to. But mind you, it's going to give you a false, a false confidence that you've already finished the book. Whereas, if walang highlight masyado yun, ako din, nag-highlight din ako yung very, 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 very important part. Pero, makikita ninyo, ilang beses ko na nabasa itong libro na ito, since first year, ang linis. Why? Such a waste of time. Especially, we read a lot. Okay? If you read a lot, and you spend your time highlighting, you are wasting your time. Rather, reread it. Reread. Okay, so lumagpas ka na sa page na yun. Basahin mo ulit. 
quick read din, quick read din. O, di mo talaga intindihan, o di saka mo isa-isahin. Alright? Kailan ka ba mag... Okay, nagpa-fast read ho ako. Pero hindi ko na intindihan. O, di medyo magalan mo. Pero gamitin mo pa rin yung, yung phrasing. Alright? Ang pag-highlight kasi parang para sa copy reading and headline writing noon. Nasa school paper pa ako. Well, I don't know. I'm not uh, ano you know. I, I, uh, but for me, ha? Ah, ah, to, I will tell you this. You also google it. Si former solicitor general Hilbay, top one ng bar, doesn't highlight. He never highlights because he believed that uh, that was a waste of time. He is not using a highlighter. Ako, I use highlighter very, very rarely. Okay? Because I find it also a waste of time. So, siguro parang minsan, sa pagbabasa mo ng limang oras, isang oras dun yung kaka-highlight mo. O, di sayang na yun, nakabasa ka na sana ng more information. Alright? Okay. Do you take note po pag nagbabasa? I don't take notes. Yung notes na parang ino... You read the book and then you have another paper taking note. No, I don't do that. That's a, a, a waste of time. This is what I do. Okay? I write side comments on the book. For example, this one. People versus De Fernando. You can see this? Three persons, three escapees, nephew of owner. Oh, so, pagka nabasa ko na yun, hindi ko na kailangan babasahin yun. Na. Oh. This one, mistaken identity. Oh, it's never, uh, um, do you to call this? Ayan, oh, oh so, yeah. This one. Oh. So, I, I, I write my, ano lang, I write my, oh, pa, 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 pa. Okay. So, act, intention, okay. No fault. Oh, see? Yan lang. Oh, so, without fault or carelessness, maglalagay ako ngayon, there is no voluntariness Elem oh, there is no element of volunt voluntariness. Hanggang dun lang. Pero yung ililipat ko pa sa kabilang papel, no, sayang ang oras mo. Imagine, you are reading like what? Sa amin, San Beda, 50 to 100 cases. Isang meeting lang yon. So, if you will be spending so much time on highlighting, eh, medyo parang mas mababaliw kayo nun. And I have another... Um, additional technique naman for recall. Sandali lang, kukunin ko. Okay. This naman is for recall. This is the syllabus. Okay. So, kada case na yan, nabasa ko lahat yan. May keywords lang ako dyan. So, siguro yan ay notes ko. Kung may notes man, yan ay notes ko. Okay? So, di ba? Oh, so for example, Bureau of Printing versus Bureau of Printing Employees Association. Oh, 1961. Oh, meron lang ako isang keyword dito, incidental. Di ba yung nagprinting yung Bureau of Printing? Di ba? Tapos, tinatanong nila na, uh, oh, pwede ba siyang idemanda? Oh. Eh, di ba nagpiprint siya? So, sabi ng Supreme Court, hindi siya pwede idemanda kasi... Yung ginagawa niya pagpiprint, although nagpiprint siya, sabi niya, alright, yung ginagawa niya for private entities, alright, eh, incidental lang yun, incidental lang yun. Ang talagang trabaho nitong printing na ito, Bureau of Printing, is to print, and it has no um, separate and distinct juridical personality. So, therefore, being under the government or the states, it's not suable. Oh, see? You see? You see how... how I was able to read this case very a long time ago na and just by seeing the keyword incidental I was able to parang unlock the fact the the substantial facts of the case the issue and the ruling of the Supreme Court That's how you do it because when you um read the, using the technique that I taught you all right magbabago lahat it's like you're reading it for understanding you are not reading it just because you're reading it. You're reading it, but you are understanding it even by just um, sort of trusting your mind to put them all together. Because may, mayroon siyang organization, right? What do we do first? We understand first the, the, the main subject and then we reverse it. 
so that we can explain to ourselves. And then number two, what do we do? We scheme. Alright? So that we know what is inside that uh, the, um, topic. And then what do we do? We scan. We look at the first paragraphs of the first sentences hanggang dun sa dulo. And then what do we do? We now do the phrasing. So, if you're going to do that, doon ka sa phrasing mo, may idea ka na sa binabasa mo. Nakuha mo na yung gist ng binabasa mo. You are just wanting to get now the finer details. Okay? So, yun ang secret ng, ng thunder fast reading. So, question, do I also read slowly? Yes, of course. I read slowly on matters which give me the red flag. Ano ba yung red flag? Pag nagbabasa ka, parang may i-stop ka. Oops! This part. Fast reading. Sandali lang. Dahan-dahanin mo yan. O, then balik ka na naman. That's only where you stop. Parang ka nagda-drive. Ang gear mo is whew, very fast. But then when there are stoplights, may explain mo yan. May explain mo yan. Sa, sa um, what do you call this? Sa sarili mo. Ay, sandali. Parang that, kumbaga nabilaukan yung ano yung sasakyan or parang ah, gumanon so doon ka hihinto and then you you sort of isolate that part and then try to really understand it oh I understand it now because you know in phrasing or in reading something hindi naman maglalagay yung author dyan oh, parang kaalayo-layo ngayon pagka parang alayo-layo nito pag talagang ganyan o oh, saka mo dahan-dahanin baka mamaya may ibig sabihin ng Supreme Court dyan may ibig sabihin ang ang uh, author, okay? So, but still, ang reading mo is still very, very fast. Times three? Yeah. Because you are reading three words per... Okay. Parang imaginein mo, one word lang yung three words. You, you get what I mean? You make the 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 words, tatlong words, make marry them together or make them together. You clump them. You clump them. And then when you clump them, you will be able to parang make... Time will come. Siguro mga after 21 days, no? To keep a hobby. After the after that, sa first, medyo mahirap yan. Nahihilo kayo. Pero later on, if you do it, para nang yung three words, one word na ang dating sa inyo. One word, one word. As for me right now, five words. Five to eight words. Feels like one word to me. It makes sense already. Because your brain, trust your brain. Your brain can assimilate information automatically. Alright, nandali lang. May abugod sa tayo ng comment. Okay. Sabi din ng prof namin, mas mainam na wag mag-highlight. Okay? Nagiging mala Jericho Arceo ka na sa pag-explain. Who's that? I don't know. Sino ba yun? <laughs> yung iba kasing red flag na la- Yung iba kasi naging red flag na lahat. Sabi ng classmate ko, five kami nanonood sa phone ko. Alright, five pala kayong nanonood. So, <laughs> okay. What do you do? Kung red flag lahat. <laughs> red flag lahat, impossible naman niya kung red flag lahat. Because there are always, okay, when you are cooking, Merong fillers. Hindi naman lahat yun yun yung main na ulam. di ba? Okay. For example, yung chapsuy, puro gulay. Pero ilan lang naman nun yung atay at saka yung baboy. So, you focus on the atay and the baboy. Okay? You, you get my analogy. You get the most important parts. So that hindi lahat nagiging atay at baboy. Dahil hindi naman lahat yan atay at baboy. Kasi... Hindi, hindi ganun yon When you read something, yung art, kasi ba diba, may, may art na pagsasalita, ng pagkasulat dyan, merong mga binabaligtad din ng author, in other words, hence, ganito ganyan. So, you can uh, trust your mind to assimilate those and that won't be too much, ano. And this is the reason why also, important, uh, oh, diba? Okay, somebody said, Trinay ko nga ang phrasing, medyo masakit sa ulo. Hindi pa sana yung mata siguro. Alright? This is going to be very challenging guys at first. Masakit sa ulo. Some of the, the students whom I taught this in the past, nag-migraine pa sila. Because nasa shock yung system mo na, ba't parang nangyayari yan? Ano ba yan? Okay? Okay. So, 
Tapos na tayo dun sa taking notes, ha? O, oh, see? O, oh, diba? Okay, ha? Pag para matandaan ang cases, ganyan, ganyan. Okay. Ano pong ginagawa ninyo kapag inaantok habang nagbabasa? O, oh, maybe you've, you've, um, okay, I, I invite you to check my video on Pomodoro Technique. Because I use Pomodoro Technique. Where's my Pomodoro here? I have my Pomodoro here. Where's my Pomodoro? Somebody stole my Pomodoro. Oh no, wait. Here. Here is my Pomodoro. This is, uh, it's a automatic, uh, ano no? I set it to 20 minutes. And then I read. And then I read very, very fast for 20 minutes. And then I stop. And then for 5 minutes, I stop, I meditate, okay? So if I am if I am sleepy, all right, during that uh, time, kasi hindi ka masyadong antok yan sa loob ng 20, excuse me, 20 minutes, kasi nga, naka-slacer focus ka eh, papasok yung antok mo pag nag, ay para akong inaantok, like that, you stand, and then mag-jumping jack ka. Or, what I did when I was in, ano pa, nursing school, imagine mo, duty namin matapos ng 5am, tapos may pasok kaming, what, 9 or 10 in the morning. So, it, wala kaming tulog, ba Maliligo lang kami sa bahay. He even experienced back then, na from the hospital, wala na palitan. Yun na yung suot mo, tapos meron kayong recitation or quiz the following day. So, ba What, what, what do you do? I wash my face. I I I wash my face with cold water. Magigising ka if you really sleepy. I experienced that. Now in law school, there are several techniques. You do fast breathing technique, the fire dragon technique, fire dragon breathing technique. Paki Google. This is like you are going to use this. Um, tanong mo ang layo na sa ano ah, topic. O pero sige, bilisan natin. If you're sleepy, you use the fire dragon technique. Fire dragon breathing technique. Okay. Kasi I'm a meditator, so I'm somehow... Breath of fire is a rhythmic technique, okay? Inhale, exhale. Okay. No deeper than sniffing. Paano ba yun? Medyo... I, I didn't do it. This is the first time I'm going to do it uh, online or with the uh, viewers. This is the fire, breath of fire technique or brag, dragon breathing technique. What you're going to do is to saturate your blood with oxygen. Hmm. We get sleepy daw because we lack oxygen in the brain. So what are you going to do? You saturate your brain with oxygen. Breath of fire. It's like this. Can you do it with me, guys? Okay, your diaphragm, hold your diaphragm, and for 15 times, 10 to 15 times, we do the basic fire dragon technique or the breath of fire. Inhale, exhale, and then do the fire technique. Inhale, oh. that's the fire breathing thing. It's going to wake you up whether you like it or not. Because you supplied your brain, medyo parang, oh, nahiloko to. Like that. Because you put much oxygen in your blood by doing that. And by doing that, you supply oxygen also to your brain. Okay? I also have this in my video. Um, in YouTube, yung brain vitamins. Sa dulong part, jump nyo lang. The left side, okay, Okay, will relax you. The right side breathing will rev you up or recharge you. So, what do you do? Inhale on your right. On your right. Kanan. Kanan ninyo. Hindi left, ha? Antukin kayo. Right. Kanan. Kanan na nakabukas. Yung inhale. Okay, inhale. Okay, yan ha? Okay, tapos na tayo doon. Bumalik na tayo sa issue. <laughs> Para naging Dora the Explorer. Alright, so. That's gonna be useful, alright? So, now, can anybody, um, um, okay, we just summarized because we're about to, um, move on, okay, and rest, okay? So, number one is 
you read the topic, you read the, the, the par paragraph or sentence or the introductory sentence or the main topic, explain it to yourself by reversing it. Hindi fast read ito. Okay? You close your eyes, you imagine of a scenario, okay, that is violative of that positive statement. Okay? Kung negative statement yan, you imagine naman nakabaligtaran. Just always reverse it. And the number two is you are... Sandali, saka kung sagutin yung tanong ni Michael Garcia. Number two is that you skim, alright, the sub paragraphs or the subtopic sub chapters is that what you call it but yung mga naka bold letters very quick and then balik ka naman you scan the first paragraph only so that you get the gist and then after the first paragraph now you scan for important words that are related di ba yung brain mo niya nakalert na that are related to the main topic makikita mo na ngayon yung keywords na related doon di ba kasi similar words Similar effects, same energy, same essence, makikita mo na. Alright? Hanggang doon, mga next 10 pages yan ha, next 10 pages. And then go back, ito na yung reading in phrasing. You read 3 to 4 words at a time. Can you try it guys? Someone, somebody, some person or persons here already are saying that they tried it and nahilo sila. Yes, that is expected. You have to train yourself to do that so that masasanay kayo. Alright, start it right now. Okay? Three words at a time. Hmm? Five justices believe that the prisoner, okay? O, oh, isang basa lang yan, ha? Five justices believe that the prisoner, one, treat this as one word. Who was killed was not escaping. Five justices believe that the person who was killed all right, was not escaping. Yeah? Very fast, very fast. Also, comprehension is very fast. Why? Because on the process of contracting, okay, these words into phrases, your brain also processes the information. So, tatandaan mo, five justices na naniniwala, naniniwala sila na yung tao na yun ay hindi naman siya tumakas. All right? So, phrasing, ha? Oh, after finishing the next 10, 10 pages, you do that naman sa susunod na 10 pages uli. And then, and then, and then, that's that's your pattern. But as for me, dahil medyo ano na ako, batikan sa technique <laughs> na ito, I, I do it 100 pages na. I skim the next 100 pages. Okay? I skim and scan the first 100 pages or the entire chapter as the case may be. Okay? And then, what do you do after, after, uh, we have already the, the reversing, we already have the, um, scheming, we already have the scanning, we already have the phrasing. And then, now, the last part is that you explain to your mind what you've read. Don't, don't use words, just use your brain so that you save time. And then, the number Another number one tip is never sub-vocalize. Never ever sub-vocalize. It's like when you're reading. I could have finished the entire paragraph already in just like that if I was not sub-vocalizing. But because I was sub-vocalizing, I'm using this, it slows my brain. Okay. Trivia. Bakit daw ang mga doktor sobrang pangit ng sulat? Sagot is like this. Sobrang bilis ng utak ng mga doktor na huhuli ang kamay. Right? The motor, the motor function is really slower than the mental function. That is why parang hindi na nagpa-process yung sa, sa, mo, sa hands because nga the brain is so fast. Because medical professionals are trained to read thunder speed. Because that's how medical students are taught also how to read. Okay? Kaya pag nagsusulat na, para ano na nangyari, bakit parang ganito sulat ni Doc? It's because sobrang bilis ng brain processing. So parang sa reading. Inaano ko lang, by analogy, right? If you are um, sub-vocalizing it, you are slowing Okay? The brain processes of reading. Okay? 
Siguro palitan natin yung number one ng visualize, no? What you've read and then reverse. Hindi lang read it. Kasi you read it, but you visualize, no? A certain scenario. Tulad nga, oh, sa mga bagong panonood pa lang, if you're going to read the first part, or say for example, you're going to read civil law, or you imagine something related to civil law, yun ang utang. Hindi nagbayad, nagsabunutan, ganyan. Oh, sa criminal law, oh, habang naglalakad, galit siya sa kanya, nagsiselo siya, yung boyfriend niya, inagaw ni ganito, ni ganyan, sinaksak niya. So, yung brain mo, okay, para naka-channel siya doon sa mismong binabasa mo. That is really the step one. Okay? And then, you read, uh, and then you reverse it, so that you will be able to make the brain, okay, now, interpret it the way the brain understood it. Okay? Is there any question, class? <laughs> Is there any question? Oh, trivia lang. Before I entered law school for eight years, I was in business and I was also working. I was teaching. I was uh, in Korea. I taught English in Korea for almost uh, two years. Balik-balik ako ron. And then I did business also. Uh, imports. I also taught at... Uh, PR and I was also a PR consultant so I was doing a lot of stuffs before law school so I was maybe able to sort of assimilate these stuffs and you know in law school or just about anything this card is very important you must be able to do things easily so that hindi ka masyado napapagod because if you're tired Physically, eventually that physical tiredness will become emotional tiredness. And then you lose your juices. You lose your inspiration. If there's just too much effort, okay? You lessen the effort. In everything that you do, lessen the effort. Try to m practice the art of simplifying things. Alright? So those who just watch, oh, Ian, yeah, my friend. Uh, uh hello hello so those who just uh, tuned in to this uh, video anyway i'm going to leave it re-upload it on facebook in hd so that you can go back to this video and see the tips and apply them for yourselves but i don't know if i'm going to um upload it in youtube because masyadong ma heavy yung hd ng, ng facebook so but at any rate, um, you can like and subscribe to my channel in uh, uh, YouTube because I have a lot of videos there too that are very helpful to you. It's Rob Gozun. All right. You can like and subscribe and you can share also this this uh, specific video on Facebook. Just click the share button and then give some mm, sort of this, this description so that other students will also um learn about this very uh, mm, excuse me simple techniques that i just shared to you tonight all right so if you have any comments and suggestion you can write this in the comment down below or or a next topic or whatever you just write it down below and i thank you guys for supporting my vlog i ask you guys to kasi naghihinayang ako na ang konti ang maka although I we already have a, a, around 10,000 views in the last what just more than 3 weeks less than 4 weeks 10,000 views pero nakukonti an ako dun kasi sayang naman yung information that um we are sharing I want more people so help me guys I want more people to benefit from these videos because what I'm sharing to you are not things that I just learned in law school, but the things that I've learned back in nursing and my eight years of experience in the real world and plus my experience in um, law school that I believe that will be able to help a lot of younger students if they apply it because they are really lifelong learnings. And these are the things that I have learned 
and I believe very useful and which will be used by the younger students because I believe in parang Miss Universe because I believe because I believe that mentoring is very important so marami ako na may mentor ng mga younger years yung iba sa kanila honor students yung iba sa kanila sa honor section not just in in San Beda no? those whom I know personally um, if they're able to ano parang use these techniques makikinabang sila Although, admittedly, I am not the most um, academically what smart, but I am definitely street smart. I make things simple. And with that, I am able to make everything so simple. And if you apply it, you will be able to learn a lot. Okay? So, may mas magaling sa akin kasi academically. Siyempre, marami. But then again, I always believe in balance. I don't want my health to suffer. I don't want my social relationship to suffer. I don't want my, my well-being to suffer just because of studies or just because of something that I'm doing. So I am always finding a way to make things simpler so that my brain will understand it simpler so I make things a lot simpler so that my I will not suffer and this the things that I've learned if you're going to use it and you find it useful you will say ay pwede naman palang mapadali pwede naman pala nating mapadali yung napakahirap na bagay for example sa criminal law meron akong video na i-upload na record ko last Last week, mayroong technique sa pag uh, um, memorize ng mga crimes. Imagine mo, ikaw yung criminal. Tapos, paano mo may iwasan yung, yung krimen kapag ka, uh, di ba, so you put yourself. Or imagine that you are already the, the, the lawyer of that. Pero pinakamatindi talaga, imagine mo, ikaw yung criminal. And, and hindi hmm, naman kumpleto eh. E, paano ako makukonvict dyan? Hindi kumpleto eh. Ito yung dapat o. Oh. Bago maging murder yan, dapat itong munang gagawin ko, ganito, ganito. So, hindi murder. O, o ganun sa, ganun sa, ano, ganun sa criminal law. O, so, for example, tawa ng tawa yung mga, mga classmates ko because last night we went out and we had dinner. And then, but before we had that, we went to, to 7-Eleven. So, I was demonstrating, no? So, if I am going to get this Ferrero Rocher, alright, this is going to be consummated death. Alright, so, so, what if I, I, I don't, oh, I changed my mind, so it's no longer a crime. It's no longer a crime because you desisted, di ba? So, ay, walang crime na na-consummate, di ba? Kasi nga, I, I personally desisted. Oh, alright. So, ate, ate, kako, ganyan, ganito, biro lang. Oh, ate, ate, kukunin ko na to, tatago ko na to, like that. Oops, yung bago isip ko, ayoko na. So, you see, you can apply that, ano, you can apply that, uh, parang, principle in criminal law. Like in your daily life. O, oh, di ba? Eh, huwag mo naman kukunin. Siyempre, pag kinuha mo yun, eh, di siyempre, matitef ka. Kasi, ah, walang knowledge yung, no, you don't do that. You just, parang, play with the provision so that you, you memorize it. So, parang, na- na-visualize mo siya. Alright? So, pagka, nagbabasa ka ng libro, it's about, um, you know why, uh, it's very easy for um, you to understand rape, <laughs> yeah, the crime of rape, it's because it shocks the senses. You become emotionally part of it. Why? Now, how will you be able to be so good also with determining other crimes? Or do you put emotions to it? You put life into it. You put... Mm, kailangan may ganun. Ipart mo yung sarili mo doon. That will be a very um, effective way in order for you to um, be part of the law. Make law part of your system. Or everything that you... That's what I did in nursing. Did you know that I was already working in nursing? While I was taking nursing, I was teaching online back then. I was very young. And I was teaching at the International Department of AUF to Koreans while I was studying nursing, ha? So, discarded talaga. 
And when you enjoy it, like nursing, may imagine mo, ah, anong sakit yon Ganito, ganyan. Pag kulang yung symptoms, wala yung ganyang cardinal symptom, hindi yan yung sakit. The same thing with law. Hey, pagka wala yung most important part na yan, hindi yan yung krimen na yan. Alright? So, na-assimilate mo ngayon yung yung knowledge mo sa life. Alright? Okay. <laughs> Okay, you have any question? Uh, and dami na no no on. So, hello guys, JNJ, Aliza de la Cruz, GN Tristan, Carlota, Jude Tacorda, KRM, Advocatorum Amicus, Nico Monsale, Charm Lucky, Ian Aduru, Mark Nicole Quellar, Catherine Grace, dai and dami ninyong nanonood, guys. All right. So you have any more I know, questions? That is just the basic part, ha? Huh? Remember, let's wrap it up. Visualize. Visualize. If it's criminal law, any crime will do. Visualize a crime. So that your brain now and then your system, yung system mo, will be ready that, okay, I'm going to understand and study criminal law okay now after that you read that certain provision which you are going to want to understand which you want to understand so for example um basahin natin say for example oy mga first year dyan o, di, sabihin natin oh, conspiracy and proposal to commit felony o, basahin mo yan muna very ano lang very lightly, conspiracy and proposal to commit felony are punishable only in the cases in which the law specially provides a penalty. Therefore, oops! Balik ta rin mo ngayon. O, di ba, nag-visualize ka na ng krimen. O, ngayon, nabasa mo na yung first line ng conspiracy. Conspiracy and proposal to commit felony are punishable only in cases which the law specially provides a penalty. Therefore, balik ta rin mo. Okay. Conspiracy and conspiracy proposal to commit felony are not punishable. Balik ta rin mo in the cases which the law ha, especially provides a penalty. Therefore, balik ta rin mo kung hindi conspiracy, kung hindi proposal to, kung, kung, kung conspiracy and proposal to, so, conspiracy and proposal to commit felony are punishable only in cases which the law especially provides a penalty. Therefore, okay. Napapanish lang pala yung conspiracy and yung proposal to commit uh, conspiracy kapag ka ang batas ay pinapenalize niya ito o baligtarin mo ay hindi naman pala napaparosahan yung conspiracy kasi kapag ka may batas okay binaligtad mo ha right binaligtad mo yung binasa mo ha ah, kapag ka pala may conspiracy at proposal to commit uh, conspiracy hindi naman pala yan napaparosahan kapag ka merong uh, kapag ka walang batas na nagpaparosa dito baligtarin mo Ah, so kapag ka ganun pala, ang conspiracy at proposal to commit conspiracy ay mapaparusahan kapag ka may batas na nagpaparusan nito. Nakuha niyo guys ha, nakuha niyo yun. Very important. Binaligtad ko. Pero same meaning pa rin. ba? Okay. A conspiracy exists when two or more person come into agreement, blah, 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 blah. Ah? So wala pa lang conspiracy pag mag-isa lang siya. O, di tapos. There is proposal when a person, okay, you know what I na, you know what I'm talking about. That's how you that's how you um try to read and understand. Oh, shout out naman diyan. Carlota Villaroman, shout out naman diyan. Hey, Lotti. Yeah, Lotti is one of the um top students of San Beda College of Law. Being part of the honor section. Alright. Carlota Villaroman. Okay. Hello, hello. Mga first year students dyan. Advocatorium Amicus. KRM. Jude Tacorda. KRM. Yeah. And my mom. My mom uh, is now watching. Carolina Gozan is now watching. Hello, mommy. Love you. <laughs> okay. So, guys. Um... I hope that uh, you were able to uh, learn from this video and from the tips that I've given you. Uh, remember that uh, when you lose the the fire within to con uh, continue, 
you remember the reason why you're you're here on the first place make sure that you re remind yourself bakit ba ako nag-aabogado ano ba yung una kong dinesto ano ba ito bakit ako nandito you always go back to the main reason why you entered law school or find three reasons why you entered law school find three reasons as well why you want to become or to achieve your dream always the you know the magic three three because our brain ito naman tayo sa science no can only entertain daw parang three to maximum of four thoughts in 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 one focus so actually one thought lang talaga per focus pero kaya niya mag -inter entertain ng interchanging three to four thoughts at a time so why three give three reasons why you want it why because you will saturate your brain with the things that you want but drown out yung distractions or yung yung thoughts na nag ne negative sa yo so always three to drown out maximum of well four may rapang ka na mag ano nun. pero three thoughts na positive why why do i want to become a lawyer because blank because blank because blank and then play that in your mind and then you will notice that your your mood is already changing because why you already drowned out that negative feeling because that negative feeling sabi nga you cannot entertain that thought eh because you already saturated your mind okay with thoughts three to four thoughts of uh, positive thoughts all right because you do not resist the negative thoughts what you resist persists i'm going to give you an example hi aliza zaraga i'm going to give you an example guys resist a thought do not think of a pink elephant do not think of wag mong isipin wag mong iisipin ang pink na elepante wag mong isipin Sige, wag mong isipin. Did you just think of a pink elephant? <laughs> wag mong iisipin yung pink elephant na yan, nakapanti siya na tiba. Wag mong iisipin. Please don't. Di ba naisip mo siya? It's because what you consciously do not want to think, your brain will think. So, Ayoko bumagsak, ayoko bumagsak. <laughs> Ang naiisip mo yung utak mo, bumagsak ka. Ayoko matawag, ayoko matawag. Yung iisip mo yung utak mo, natatawag ka. Ayoko mabokya, ayoko mabokya. Ang naiisip ng utak mo is ayoko mabokya. The same thing. Ayoko isipin ang pink elephant. Huwag mong iisipin ang pink elephant. May isip mo. It's because your brain, okay, what your brain is resisting, it is going to persist. What you resist is going to persist. So, think of what you want. Instead of saying, ayokong bumagsak, isipin mo gusto kong pumasa. See? Gusto kong pumasa. Your brain will automatically visualize scenarios na pumapasa ka. Gusto kong makasagot. As compared to sa ayokong hindi makasagot. Kasi, isipin mong hindi ka nakakasagot. Isipin mong hindi ka nakakasagot. O wag mong isipin na hindi ka nakakasagot. Isn't it? Bumabalik yung mga memories na hindi ka nakakasagot. Or nakakaroon ka ng imagination na hindi ka nakakasagot. Now, isipin mo to. Sumasagot ka ng maganda. Sumasagot ka ng maganda. Kahit ayaw mo, pumapasok sa isipan mo, alright, the, the vision, the, the, the images na nakakasagot ka. So, it changes now your body chemistry. It promotes now the, the production of feeling good chemicals such as endorphins, serotonin. Because these thoughts are positive in nature. See? One of our, ano, naisip tuloy niya ang pink elephant. Wag, please, wag mong iisipin ang pink elephant na nakapanti na tibak na black. Wag, wag mong iisipin. See? You think of it just right now. Now, think that you are passing. Think that you are achieving your dreams. 
think that you are achieving what you've been asking for. Don't say, eh, ayoko sa mga negative na tao. O naiisip mo ngayon lahat ng negative na tao. Rather than saying, ay, gusto ko yung mga, ne- mga positive na tao, yung mga talagang encouraging na tao, hindi naiisip mo ngayon ako. Hindi <laughs> naiisip mo ngayon yung mga kaibigan mong very encouraging. So, with that, I hope that you were able to learn a lot, not just the speed thunder reading technique. To those who've just tuned in, you can replay the video. But also, most importantly, learn the art of encouraging yourself and thinking affirmatively rather than negatively. Alright guys, we're going to finish this. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Please do not forget to, to subscribe to my channel and help me grow this channel. Tell your friends, kasi nanghihinayang talaga ako na gusto kong mas maraming makakikinabang sa mga sinishare natin dito. Alright guys, the channel is Rob Gozun. You can also follow me here in uh, Facebook. But what we want is to um, uh, bring people or subscribers to YouTube so that mas marami kasing nanonood talaga ng tao sa YouTube. Because in Facebook, mix yan eh ba? Meron niyang written, meron yang, but in Facebook, talagang content-based niya is, is video. Alright, so it, it reaches a lot of people. Millions and millions of people. Alright guys, love, love, love. Sabi na, hi, Alisa Saraga. Yup, encouraging ka, Robbie. Carlota says, love, love, love. KRM said, naisip ko si Mimi Yu. <laughs> Oo. Alright. So, galing mo po sir. Ang dami ko pong natutuhan. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Because what I can teach you guys is not just about law school. Because uh, as I've told you before, ooh, <laughs> as I've told you before, um, the things that I'm sharing to you guys are cumulative experiences. And, uh, in how many, well, like, ilang 100 years na yata ako dito sa earth. <laughs> Scientific based tips. Because I'm a registered nurse. And for 8 years before law school, I was able to experience real life situations. Which you will not learn inside law school. And of course, the things that I've learned in law school so far. Okay? Rob J. Robert Miranda collab na sa the social network. Um, I don't know if they know me, no? But maybe someday and someday I am a watcher of that, no? The social network. Sobrang tawa talaga ako sa kanis. Guys, please also watch the uh, social network sa, sa YouTube if gusto nyong matawa. Tatlo silang abogado. Um, and then make they make really funny videos. Alright guys, good luck and God bless and and I hope that um, you're able to learn a lot from this. And I'm sure that if you apply these techniques, not just the speed reading techniques, but the techniques, the real life techniques that I taught you guys tonight, you will find that your journey will be a lot easier. It will not be totally smooth but it will definitely be a lot easier than it is than it is right now all right guys bye bye god bless you i love you all remember that god is good bye bye